Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zayn and today we'll be having a look at Glitch. Glitch Finance, the Glitch Crypto. What exactly is Glitch? It's a big question and that's what we're going to be tackling today. So I hope you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment and remember to join our Discord server. Now, before we get this video started properly, I have to declare this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes, of course. So what exactly is Glitch Token? It's going to be the first thing we're going to be having a look at properly. Glitch Token itself or Glitch Finance. JW is in the comments. What's, what's up, JW? Welcome. So I've got I've got a couple of articles to help me figure out glitch token in itself. And I usually have a few different articles, you know, that I can that I can bounce off, that I can get some proper correct information about this project. And that's what we're going to be having a look at. So let's start from the top. Glitch token itself. It says here that glitch token is a custom built blockchain specifically for trustless money market. At its core, the project is about better access, low costs, and novel community rewards mechanism. Now, Glitch is building a DeFi operating system to help minimize barriers for retail investors and developers looking to expand the reach of their products or services. Now, it improves on the technical advances made by existing chains and stands out by offering a unique token wrapping feature scalability from layer one and a unique dividend model so we do have the consensus of glitch uh, glitch finance as well got some more information on glitch such as profit sharing interoperability glitch decentralized exchange and the future of glitch finance itself and that's what we're going to be going for a full article we'll also do a price analysis and price prediction right now you're looking at a hundred and sorry not a hundred what, what the hell was i saying one dollar and seventy cents per token at the moment and there's actually interestingly enough 89 89 tokens um 89 percent of tokens that are in circulating supply that's uh, 79 79 million tokens in circulating supply and the max supply is 88.8 .8 million tokens it's actually quite low under 100 million token i i still see that as a, as a low token supply and that's good because low supply usually usually results in high demands of the token which usually results in the token price going up um a lot a lot more impressively than you can expect with with other tokens that are obviously higher circulating supply anyway let's get back to glitch token itself so as for the consensus of glitch token it approaches scalability from layer one aiming for a low latency transactions with enough capacity to support high transactions volume in near term glitch will use a consensus protocol that is known as delegated proof of stake dpos to boost the transaction speed to meet the requirements mainstream usage now the dpos system not only has material upgrades over proof of work or proof of stake but it also introduces a system where voting power lessens with time to ensure fair governance a critical factor when it comes to plans for the glitch dao as a decentralized autonomous organization basically it's a group of developers that are completely decentralized to the to, to the to the project basically they have no personal relations i think is the is the underlying meaning a group of individuals who are there to develop the project but not for for personal gains they're just a decentralized group of if individuals who are helping to develop the project I hope I didn't ramble on about that for too long. But anyway, there's more. Profit sharing, interoperability, glitch decentralized uh, exchange, and the future of glitch. Now, in all of that, we've also got information on the on the glitch medium um, blog. These are basically latest ecosystem update 
few articles that will get us some more information, some more in-depth view on Glitch itself, such as monthly update as for the month of November. It's quite interesting because the month of November is not ended yet. In, in fact, we're just the 23rd, 23rd of November. So, so this was actually at the start of November on November the, November the 5th. But yeah, they've got plenty of information that we can go through on the on the glitch on the glitch blog. So that's that's good for us to get a proper understanding of this crypto. So next is interoperability. So token wrapping on the glitch network will evolve will involve mirroring Ethereum and Ethereum assets on the blockchain with its GRC20 token standards. So users with assets from other blockchains they will be able to register with their own addresses on the glitch protocol and get their tokens mirrored as a grc20 token so in this way developers can easily simulate dApps and products from ethereum and other blockchains now as they as they incorporated while benefiting from faster throughputs and and circumventing high transaction fees or or high transactional fees and everyone wants to avoid that these days high transaction fees because we've seen that it's actually it's actually not a good thing for the for the ethereum blockchain and you've got plenty of blockchains out there and developers who are trying to avoid that particular problem which is a really good thing because this will benefit us the users in the long term gains the holders this will benefit us long term so now an additional glitch is building bridges to connect to to glitch token the native token with other blockchain ecosystem so the first the first is um is to the binance smart chain currently glitch holders can easily swap their erc20 glitch for a bep version and in the future this will be an integral tool to interoperability between glitch and the other blockchains now glitch token glitch decentralized exchange the gex i don't think that's a good name gex gex anyway Another of the core elements of the glitch protocol is glitch dex. Right. Well, that makes more sense. But gex gex did not make much sense anyway. Known also as gex. Oh my goodness, does not make much sense. The gex is an is an on-chain and permissionless peer-to-peer -peer exchange that enables quick, cheap, secure and decentralized asset swapping. So the gex uses um, same automated market making as the as the other DEXs, but it focuses on real-time settlement due to the lightning quick delegated proof of stake. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So now the future. Future of this token. As founded on the belief that the DeFi is to meet all its full potential, it needs more dedicated or um dedicated infrastructure at least um system that are easier to use that's that's really really important in the in the world of crypto scalable that's good as well because we've seen that if a crypto is not scalable you can see how difficult it's it, it is to allow that crypto to grow and to evolve and um capable of um of uniting an entire ecosystem of dapps that's good because we see that happening with Ethereum, we're seeing it happening with Solana, Avalanche now. You know, it's uh, it's an entire ecosystem of different DApps, and they're and they're evolving together, they're growing together, they're uniting together, and they're expanding together and growing each and every ecosystem that they're a part of. And we've seen the pure profit that that uh, that DApp building platforms have had on the world recently. They've been exploding, mostly done by, by Ethereum leading the way. But you've seen other cryptos quickly came along and steal a lot of thunder. They stole a lot of a lot of steam, a lot of momentum. 
well not stole but they they achieved it they worked hard for it solana avalanche other cryptos cordana you know they're they're in a competitive space and to be to be sure they're not slowing down so glitch is a project on the behalf that the DeFi to meet full potential as we're speaking of before right and we we're talking about the capabilities of uniting the entire ecosystem of dApps now the teams behind beyond the protocol the glitch finance is currently expanding its ranks forging a new partnership and working towards their next big goal so a testnet launch of the future bedrock infrastructure now we do have some some alternative links to get us some more information on this and we will go to medium for that to get us some more updates and information on the glitch protocol the glitch finance token itself but yeah but let me know in the comments how am i doing so far how's the video do you like where the video is going is there anything that i'm missing is there anything specific that you'd like me to have a look at anything that you think is extremely important to have a look at to get a better understanding of the glitch token a truly free financial system requires not just decentralization but interoperability to allow users to access all part of DeFi ecosystem so glitch is building token wrapping bridges to connect a constellation um constellation my bad constellation of blockchain this is fascinating you hear that glitch is building token wrapping bridges to connect a constellation of blockchains interoperability guys throughout all blockchains major dApp building platforms such as ethereum um, solana tron cosmos binance polka dots avalanche this is huge so jw says um says we're doing good um have a look at the roadmap the roadmap that does sound good we're 12 minutes into this video so so let's have a look at the roadmap i do have some other articles um i don't think the i don't think there's a roadmap in here but they do talk about the circulation of the of of the token so we can use this article to our benefit get some useful information from here before i go on to the roadmap um I have no idea where I'm gonna find a roadmap, but before I do that, I want to have a look at this. Why choose Glitch? Decentralized currency secured using blockchain technology that have currently failed to deliver on efficiency and scalability for mass adoption. Glitch is the solution, providing interoperability, scalability, mass adoption, and rewards for every participant. How interesting, how interesting. So Glitch unlocks the powers of uh, permissionless DeFi applications. DeFi needs a dedicated system to meet its full potential. One that's easy to use, scalable, um, capable of uniting an ecosystem of dApps, and that rewards all ecosystem participants. Fascinating. Very fascinating. So I wanted to have a quick look at that. Why choose Glitch? Why partner with Glitch? Why develop on Glitch? Why is Glitch important? to the world that we are right now why is it important to the to the crypto world to the crypto space right so question is where can i find this roadmap so i'm actually roadmap breakdown so that's coming soon um so it looks like this is something that's coming soon my question is is there a, is there another roadmap that we can have a look at hopefully Hopefully, yes. Um, that'd be awesome. But as for information that are in the news, Chainlink adoption com compounds with Glitch Finance and, and Lever as Link price prepares for 22 liftoff. Interesting. December is a big month for Glitch. Mainnet launch, staking. Um, glitch decks and the uh, walletta the walletta is that a wallet is it um that would be awesome um that's a lot of things um, mainnet launch staking glitch decks and a wallet for the ecosystem that's awesome so i'm guessing the price has been going up a lot recently right because if if december is going to be a big thing for for glitch token 
while the token must be doing well lately because people usually like to invest as early as possible. So going back to around the end of end of October, it looks like the token was around a dollar twenty, dollar fifteen. Yeah, quite interesting. At its all time high, it looks like the token got got to around three dollars per coin. Wow, wow, that's actually really impressive. Really, really impressive, actually. Right now, it's at a dollar. Right now, it's at a dollar and sixty nine cents. So that's quite interesting. But yes, people have been investing a lot recently, and obviously, it makes perfect sense. If if December is going to be a big month, people want to make as much gains as possible. Some people are in for the short term. Some people are in for the long term. So cryptocurrency, central banks, and the future of money. Glitch Finance is aiming to bring DeFi to the masses. Glitch Finance in integrates, um, I think that's supposed to say integrates, um, chain link data feeds for DApps support. Glitch Finance um, integrates uh, chain link price feeds. Interesting. Glitch Finance uh, set to launch its testnet on June. So this was um, this was late, and this is late information. This is old old news because this was this was um, June news. But we do have more updated um, more updated more recent information, and that's all on their blog on Medium. So this is good. So we can we can use this to our advantage, introducing the first five glitch community um, advocates. Interesting. But I'm still looking for the the roadmap. If there's a roadmap article on on glitch, if it's on Medium, let me know in the comments on on where I can find this roadmap. But it looks like looks looks like like we might have found something. Glitch roadmap release v2. This is actually from from the end of July. So this might just be for for this year specifically. Anyway, yeah, this could work. This could work because they talk about this year, um, Q4, which is where we are now, um, November going into December. So mainnet release, big, big, big. As JW was saying, mainnet is being released in December. Developers um, documents, bridge mainnet, wallet mainnet, explorer mainnet, revenue shared documents. So loads of documents are going to be released, which shows a lot of transparency from the project and, and, and its developers. So first of all, I really like where that's going. We're currently live for 18 minutes. So we're going to get through this and go through any other article, anything else that we need that we've missed that you'd like us to, to read about. Let me know in the comments. Additionally, main net Oracle integration. This is also happening in in and around December. Now, obviously, some of these things will probably be happening in in November as well, because we're still in November and this is Q4 of 2021, which is where we are right now. And Gex on mainnet. Gex is basically um, Glitch's version of a Dex. Um, it's basically a Dex, but it's just called Gex. Cloud hosting for nodes integration staking on mainnet. Community region expansion. That is an ongoing, ongoing effort. So that's good. That's what they've got planned for the end of this year and for the entirety of of the last three months in this in this year. So that's good. So that's what we can look forward to. Now, as for the future of this token, we've spoken about it a little bit in the previous article, but we can we can talk a bit more about this. 2022 roadmap release, third party developer tool support, automatic DApp builders, token generator, wallet browser extension, stablecoin NFT platform, lending platform, interoperability with multiple blockchain blockchains on the mainnet, and a GitHub release, so they're rele releasing their developers file to a developer community. People can check out those files. Um, it's quite interesting. DApp development on the Glitch blockchain and multi-sig transaction type and more information on the DAO. 
decentralized autonomous organization and a stable coin in the future see so these are all future um things that they're considering things that they're working on stable coin nft platform that's huge i can't describe how huge an nft platform will be for the glitch finance stable coins are also a big thing in this world as well because some people like to make sure that their money is also decentralized and also stable it's important wallet browser extension token generator automatic dap builder that's crazy so an automatic dap builder a tool a software that can build your dapps for you automatically interesting these are all 2022 plans by the way these are future plans no idea when they'll be released um, individually but it gives us an idea of something to look forward to and if this team delivers on what they're saying they're doing this year or throughout then you can mostly trust them to deliver on what they're planning on, on delivering for the future which is these are some big things some big announcements expectations are high expectations are high jw jw80 is saying he's very bullish well i i can't disagree um especially given the fact that the token supply is so damn low i mean you don't see that every day in a in a good project you know based on my assessment so far i can i can say that um that glitch uh glitch finance definitely seemed like a very promising project no doubt about it this video is getting a bit getting a bit long so let's uh let's go into a quick price analysis right so because december is going to be such a big month we can obviously we can obviously see the price probably going back to around two dollars possibly even between two dollars and three dollars and to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if it if it breaks it breaks above and stays above three dollars before the end of the year that wouldn't surprise me too much given the big plans that they have for the rest of the year with the mainnet launching and stuff like that but most importantly is that you got to remember the because of circ the circulating supply but the total supply and everything the supply of the entire token ecosystem and it's so it's so low um the less supply that they are is the bigger the demand will be and i cannot stress this enough but that's one of the main reasons why Bitcoin is like 57 grand is because Bitcoin has an extremely low token supply. Now, as for glitch token distribution, speaking of tokens, let's just go into this really quickly. Um, contingencies gets 5%. Public is 15%. Advisors 10 Marketing get, gets 5%. Private sales that's um private sales private sale number one is 25 percent private sale number two is five percent and seed rounds are ten percent war chess no idea what war chess is that's 15 percent teams is 10 and so on and so on well actually that's that's everything that's how it's distributed that's really good so glitch with market capital um how much is the how much is the market cap on, on glitch i'm asking myself this question <laughs> right so coin market cap is, is 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 reporting that it's that it's around a hundred and um and 34 million but this might be incorrect you know it could be incorrect you can see that the the verified information is on the right it's the circling supply supply that's are verified but the market cap it's 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 not verified on coin market cap um so an, an easy option is to probably go to coin gecko you can get um you can get some some more information on 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 this crypto if you go to coin gecko no guarantees that it will be that it will be correct market cap over here is 119 million market cap over here is 134 million so they're not far off not by a huge margin anyway but you know it's um it's just to give you an idea that the market cap they could be around just above 100 million maybe maybe more maybe less but it gives you a rough idea but nothing for nothing for sure because it hasn't been confirmed and the market cap is always changing the price is always changing so the market cap is always changing it's not going to stay the same you know so um anyway jw says uh 
SOL is 1000. So glitch up market cap of SOL is 1000. It's right, I think. 1000. I don't get it. What do you what, what do you mean? Um Uh, yeah, help me help me to understand that. Um, let me let me go back to to here. I wanted to have a bit more in depth look on this. Obviously, we know we know the supply of the tokens really low, so that's that's a good sign. Obviously, not financial advice, but you know I wouldn't be surprised if this token shoots up to to ten dollars like early early next year. they can do as well as as well as it sounds you know um if it's a smooth smooth sailing ship wow it could it could really do some amazing things and because uh, the token is so so low yeah well, we can really be surprised with with the amount of thing that glitch actually achieve so if glitch had the same market cap of solana it'd be worth 1000 wait a minute what Seriously, if Glitch had the same market cap of Solana, it would be worth a thousand US dollars. That's interesting. Um, so, so what you're basically saying is that um, is that it's really undervalued right now, which is not a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's, it's quite obvious. It is really value um, undervalued. But with a supply of Solana, yeah, Solana's um, not supply with a market cap. Solana being around what sixty-five billion in market cap, uh, sixty-six billion in market cap, roughly for Solana. Always changing. But if if Glitch gets that number, it'll be worth a, a thousand per coin. Wow, that's really impressive. So that's what I mean. Once again, if you th if you believe in a project long term, then yes, it, it makes complete sense to 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 invest long long term and think long term. You know, because if you're not thinking long term, then I don't really see the point in in doing this at all. You know, long term is the best is the best thing because we can't control time. We just have to use it as as valuable as possible. And the best way to use to use time is to is is to do the best the best thinking and best work while you've got this this precious thing that's called time. But you can't control it. You just gotta do your best. JW says, um, this KSA, this is a long um long hold. I agree really really long hold and i think and i think that's uh that's a that's the that's the mindset you should have with almost every crypto is that it's long term very very long term you see the way how the world is is going with crypto people don't know if it's going to be banned people don't know if it's going to be legal el salvador is doing all kinds of things um, more nations are gonna become and are gonna be using crypto in different ways. It's it's crypto. You never know what's gonna happen, but because it's decentralized finance, no one can really claim it. And people can't just take your take your money because it's decentralized. It could blast off um, to triple digit by next uh, bull run. Um, triple digit, triple digit. So you mean in the hundreds? Well, Losa low supply that's a that's a good thing um if if as a as a dot building platform if it grows the ecosystem rapidly um i think there's many ways it could achieve triple digits and uh, one of the most notable is obviously to grow the ecosystem a strong ecosystem with multiple different dapps that's one of that's one of the best ways but of course, there's multiple other ways things can get done. Once again, this is the roadmap right here that I completely missed on the site. These are some of the partners and integrations. Um, Chainlink, Polygon, TrustSwap, Bonded, Union, Router, API3, Zcola, Campay, Bird.Money, Gpool, Kurtosis, 
the list goes on. Really interesting stuff. But I'm expecting big things, especially because the the roadmap is the roadmap is giving me a lot of confidence. I'd say a whole lot of confidence in the in the roadmap based on everything that 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 they're capable of achieving. It's giving me a lot of confidence. Um, Kurtosas, same people on Avalanche and Solana. Really, that's that's fascinating. That's that's fascinatingly interesting. I quite like the sound of that, to be honest, because I really love Avalanche. I really love uh, Solana as well. You you know how much. So no surprise there that, that that's got me um, quite excited. This video is 30 minutes long now, so I think it's I think it's time we end this video now. But for sure, remember to leave a like. Thank you to everyone who's liked this video so far. Thank you to everyone who subscribed so far. We've been doing brilliant. Um, remember to join our Discord server. A link is a link is in the description, and we might be making a Telegram group as well because, as I understand it, a lot of people do use Telegram, so. Um, we will be working on that as well and we're also on twitter but thanks to everyone who's watched hope you've enjoyed this video subscribe to see more and of course once again thanks to jw80 for recommending this video and thank you for giving me the idea to to quickly launch the discord server it's been brilliant so far and we're growing it rapidly so yeah hopefully i can i can review some more some more tokens i don't know which token i'm going to talk about next i might I might do a video for my tech channel. You know, I do have a second channel, so I might do some videos for my tech channel or I might do another crypto video live stream. We never know, but we'll see soon enough. But yes, thank you to everyone who's w who's watching and who's watched these videos. Seriously, thanks for supporting. And um and I'll see everyone in our next video. See you soon.